Well, 2017 was a whirlwind for the market, but stocks did finish with a whimper on the last day of trading. Still, investors are closing out the year with the biggest bump in their 401k since 2013 as, as this rally, which did begin in 2009, picked up a serious head of steam in 2017. Now, there's one word that underscores this year's performance, and it's confidence. Small business confidence at a 34-year high is measured by the 325,000 members of the National Federation of Independent Businesses. Manufacturing. Manufacturing confidence in the fourth quarter hit an all-time high, which helps to explain why shares of Caterpillar surged 71 percent, reversing a five-year-long slump. Then there's housing. Home builder confidence at an 18-year high, driven by the highest pace in buyer traffic in almost two decades. The resurging housing market lifted shares of D.R. Horton 88 percent this year. And then, of course, there's the consumer. Consumer confidence is at a 17-year high, and people are spending money. And, of course, more and more of them are doing it online, helping to push shares of Amazon up 56% in 2017. Now, let's talk about next year and some of the other great things going on. There's the tech dreams. Cloud-based devices like Alexa are connecting homes as the Internet of Things. It's arrived. This next level of connectivity uses artificial intelligence, commands robots, and soon your refrigerator will shop for you while you're at work or the gym. One of the big winners on that so far has been NVIDIA, up 82% this year, probably keeps going. And by the way, this is a global party. It's not just an American phenomenon. The world is enjoying global growth, which means record aircraft orders and why Boeing shares flew high, 90% this year. In fact, a lot of American companies are going to do extremely well and make big money selling abroad next year. And now they'll be incentivized to bring those profits home. So. Uh, the one word for 2018 might be enthusiasm, because remember, it happens to be self-perpetuating and highly infectious. So I think it's going to be a big winner next year for everybody. By the way, tech, uh, we saw this year, by far the standout in 2017, but you have five other sectors that were all bunched together right behind. Some of them are coming on really strong. I think you need to, to obviously have wide market exposure. Don't get in this market and throw a dart. I think there are certain areas you want to be overweighted also. Now, that report I promised last night is finally on my website. I put a lot of work into it. Check it out. Come prepared for 2018. Wstreet.com. Make your portfolio great again. All right, so look for confidence, uh, by the way, to get a boost from increased enthusiasm in 2018. Uh, and, it's, and that's going to continue on and on and on.